Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cruise Ship. First off, I'm ever so sorry. I said I was going to look at it in the shader pack at the end of the last episode. I forgot. I apologize. Here, we'll do it at the beginning of this one. We should have a look at it in the shader pack. I'm not sure how it's actually going to look uh, at the moment because we're in such an incomplete state. We've got the shape of the boat, but we're, we're definitely nowhere near like a completed um, exterior let alone interior, uh, but it does look, well, it's looking pretty decent. Look at the size of this shadow. That's something that vanilla Ma Minecraft is missing. I know they're missing shaders, but shadows in general, it's very difficult, I assume, to do shadows in, in vanilla Minecraft. Uh, I mean, you don't get really a shadow of yourself, like you can see my shadow down here. You get shadows of, like, blocks that are, like, above like you got shade for example haven't you underneath bridges and stuff in vanilla minecraft you have shade but you don't have specific shadows and it makes it look so cool man so uh photo realistic in a way like that water looks absolutely mad. look at the sun it looks absolutely nuts but that's the dark side because obviously the sun's on the other side of the cruise ship so that's what it looks like in shadow in the bright side i think it's going to be really bright because of the amount of snow that we've got um i think it's going to be real real bright it is real real bright but that looks that looks so smart so smart look at that for a cruise ship man beautiful now there's definitely in fact this shader pack's not bad for fine tuning because i can see this area right here right under my cursor um doesn't quite look right it looks a little bit bulged out a little bit in fact it might be perfect for the place for the anchor to go to hide that up and this spot right here looks a little bit weird as well so maybe uh doing those shaders wasn't a bad idea to really show up those um those imperfections yeah see that one right there that doesn't look good and that doesn't look good but that's definitely something that i can i can fine tune so last episode we added this nice shell on the top here of which we're going to hide a, or not hide, we're going to put um, probably two tennis courts, you guys said, was probably room for one and two to have to have one on either side. Now, that would be really cool to have. Um, it's definitely high enough for a tennis court. You're not going to be hitting a ball any higher than that. Feels good. Feels nice size in here. Definitely wide enough. So let's give it a go. Let's get down a, a, a board. A, a board? It's not called. Let, let's get down a, a, a pitch. What are they called? Court. Let's get down the court. So we want to have, I think lime clay would probably be the best one. I don't think I want to do a clay court. I think I want a green court. Um, or do we use grass? Now, let's do a clay one. Yeah, let's do a clay one. 172. So, I don't know how wide we want this or how big we want this at the moment. So, I'm going to select right there, which is in the third diagonal up. To over here, again, the third diagonal up. One, two, three. And let's just, uh, what was it? Set to 172. Set to 172. So that gives us from there to there. Now that looks a little bit close to this edge. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do it to the third one in. So let's... Uh, there. Second one in. Yeah, let's do the second one in then. Which would be... Hang on. Which one? <laughs> one, two. Yeah. And one, two. That one right there. So move that, put that in. And then I'm not quite as confused. Okay, that looks like a good width. I don't know if we've got an even or odd number yet. Uh, in fact, we should probably work that out. Um, uh, we need an odd number for sure. So let's put that in the middle. Um, we'll do that. And Okay, so we do need that one there. So we're not going to be able to get this exactly mirrored unless we extend it all by one but i don't think that's really necessary i think this will be fine enough and uh tennis court i want to make sure i get these marking rights. i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a picture of a tennis court markings up and then you guys don't complain that i get it wrong okay 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 so i've got it i've got a picture now of it and it's exactly what i thought so i wouldn't have got it wrong but just just to make sure well just to be comfortable i think it was a good idea uh 
Oh, where was that middle point again? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, got it. Okay, so we're perfectly in the middle. Now, this line isn't here, but I do just want to put it down for the moment, ready to be taken away. Uh, so we get a right sort of scale for our first box, which I'm going to say is right there. And then take those out. And put these going along here. Should I do should I do this with world edit? From there. Probably quicker to do the lines with world edit, isn't it? Set snow block. Don't do just normal snow. Bad mistake. Learn from my mistakes. So then we want uh this is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. From there. All the way across to there. And then from here down to there. And from this point to that point. And from, we want a square here if we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I think that's as close as we're going to get to the scale that we we have available to us. I think that's as close as what we're going to get. And this one to that one. Obviously, the uh, the net goes down the middle here. So what we need to do is we need to do another six blocks, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. From that one across to there. That one up to there. This one down to here. And then six blocks again. Where, where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six. And all the way across. I think that's in line. Yeah. And up to there. Put these final ones in. Now, I might... Snow... Uh, cobwebs. Snow webs. <laughs> cobwebs aren't really that useful to me on this world in general. Uh, I don't need them for the city area. I don't need them for this area. So what I might do is I might retexture cobwebs to look more like a tennis net. Um, for this episode, uh, we'll probably just use cobwebs for it. Um, but yeah, imagine if we retextured that to look a little bit like white iron bars. Uh, that could work out really well, I think. Uh, now, I think I'm going to do two blocks high of net. Two blocks high seems to be sort... It's about one and... I would say a tennis net was about one and a half blocks high. Um, but obviously, we can't do one and a half cobwebs. So, I'm going to just do two. One looks way too low. I think one looks way too low. Like, that's two blocks high. Or... that see that that looks way too low doesn't it? it it doesn't look anywhere near the high that you would want it to be two blocks has got to be a one and a half would be perfect but you can't say so you can't get half a cobweb unfortunately okay so we'll go from here to there uh, grab our clay I'm gonna try a range of them I'm gonna want that one I'm going to want where was the normal clay? What, what clay did I grab first time? Was Did I grab a clay last first time? Yeah, this one. Hardened clay, that one. Um, and grass. I, I, I know what grass is. So, 159.5. Replace wool black with 159.5. So, that's what the green one would look like. Looks good. I like it. 172 oh replace 159.5 there's the orange one that looks nice as well actually undo I don't think grass will be good but let's try it anyway um, with grass and there's grass. Actually, grass. Actually, grass is my favourite. Actually, gra grass is my favourite. Yeah, no, I'm going with grass. It's got like a really nice texture for for, for this. You, you see, sort of, it looks more like um, astroturf, doesn't it, than actual 
turf. But have we quite got the distance to get another one in? You know, if we move that over, we might. But the only trouble is, is I want this to sort of have a better, a, a better shape. We've got this sort of holy look at the moment. And I don't want that. I think I'd much rather have something that looks like, oops, that looks like this. Take these ones out. I'm just seeing if we can move this over at all. See if see if we can move it over at all without it um, impeding our tennis court. Like that. See, that looks much better. And then we're going to want to sort of hide up this inside. With this one and one below it. Now, I've only got two blocks, so we, I could move the tennis court back by one block comfortably, move it back to there, but I don't think it's going to give us quite enough room for another one, is it? So what else can we put in there? We've got one tennis court. I, I could rotate it. If I rotated it, half of it would be under and half of it wouldn't be. Let me try that. I'll be back. I'm going to try it. AJ, what are you doing on the other side of the ship? <laughs> I'm putting the tennis court down, but the way i done it was a little bit silly uh, paste. I think this is the right spot that I want. That's three blocks spare on this side, two blocks on the back. Let's come out by one more. So I'm going to stand right here, undo, paste. And that should give us now... Should give us three blocks around either side. I'm so confident I'm even going to remove the blocks. Three. Perfect. And it looks like we've got three on the back as well. Come here. Looks like we've got three on the back as well. So I've rotated it around to face that way. I think that's a good idea. I think it looks uh, a lot better. And uh, we can definitely fit in another one now. So let's fill this part in here. Set to will black. And then I'm going to grab this again. And we can copy it and paste it in a much uh, smoother way now. Ooh, there's this lag spike of that other bit. Boom, boom. And I want it, what was it? Three blocks in from the edge, wasn't it? So right here, copy. Keep on this block right here. Don't lose this block. Three blocks in from the edge. Ooh, three blocks including that one? I don't know. Yeah, three, that's three blocks, right? Yeah, three blocks. Okay, there's two tennis courts. I think that's good. Down the middle, maybe uh, a little bit of a seating area would be nice, like um, a, a, a triangle one. So you can sit on either side of it. That would look really, really cool. Uh, but out of what blocks? We're going to want some sort of stair to be able to sit on. Preferably like a, a grey or something like that. Yeah, this uh, nether brick one would be perfect. And then a block on the end to stand out. Uh, some sort of colour that's going to uh, stand out nicely. Maybe a red. Red would work out really well. We're sort of using the red and grey two colours that we were using on the um, sides of the ship. And I think a third block to be able to walk down. Which isn't birch. So maybe another wood. Like maybe an oak just a little bit darker then okay that sounds good to me and uh, we've got like this little area here you want like two blocks to be able to walk three blocks to be able to walk down so i'm going to add that one there which is two blocks in from the end as well from there to there three blocks to be able to walk down and then we want to have i think i'm going to do that and then have grey back here. And that one. And then have... Now, how do I want... No, I think I need to... I want... What I want is I want the stairs like this. And then I want this. And then I want this. Then I want this. So maybe we should put the seats down first. Because then it gives you space to be able to walk through, you see. 
Uh, take these away. So if we go up every two blocks. And then... Is that the dead middle point? I would assume that's the dead middle point. Yeah, perfect. And then... These are here. That one's there and here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Okay, that's going to go all the way down. I'm going to do that and I shall be back. Check out the map. <laughs> that's so cool. I, I love this mini map. I... Why have I never had a mini-map mod before on any of my other series? It looks so cool! Okay, so I'm just adding some walls in here. And I want the same thing going up over the top because they, they blend in so well. The sort of blank texture makes it work really, really nicely. I want the same thing over the top here and down the middle. Whoop. All the way down here. And check out that for a smart looking seating area there. Just something that stands out just a little bit, doesn't it, huh? Pretty cool. I absolutely love it. Uh, lighting. Lighting. We need to th think about lighting as well on the ship. Um, like little glowstone lights or something like that. I need... I don't think I've... Glowstone. No, I didn't retexture glowstone. What about uh, lamps? I haven't retextured lamps either. Um... Obviously, we want to retexture one of them to look very much like an interior light, and then maybe one to look a lot like an exterior light. At the moment, on the city world, I've been using beacons for all the lightings on the street lights and everywhere else. Um, you know, interior lights and stuff. I've been using beacons for, uh, but eventually, we're gonna want, we're gonna need to use another block. And I think, I think glowstone for interior, redstone lamps for exterior. Uh, would look pretty, or should be the other way around, because interior you can usually power the redstone lamp then, can't you? So maybe it should be the other way around. I don't know, I don't know, but an interior light and an exterior light I think would look good, pretty good. That definitely does need to be doubled up all the way around. Um, that's really going to help the sort of width and the feel of that. What we need to do now though, is uh, work out first where exactly... We're going to come up onto this level. Where are the stairs or the elevators going to be? And I think it would be really cool uh, to have both stairs and elevators. I think maybe the middle should be the elevators. Because we've got to remember, on the side here, we've got windows. We've got, we've got uh, like, apartments here. So we can't have the stairs and stuff too close to the window. So we're going to have to focus it more around the centre. I think, yeah, if I think if we have them here, and we have elevators in the middle, and two sets of stairs, one on either side. So let's just sort of plan out an idea. That's the middle point. And then the elevators don't need to be big. They can be like that size. Two of them, one by either side is good. And then have maybe three three blocks to walk through which means we're going to have to do that one here because we're going to want to have some sort of barrier around the edge of the stairway in order to go down it and i think maybe a three wide staircase sounds too small four wide i think would sound good so i'll have that one i don't know if it's long enough or not and then the same on this side oops like this two three four Take those out. It might not be quite uh, quite long enough to be able to get down before you hit your head on that end block. Uh, but we're just sort of planning uh, planning out again. But that, look, that looks pretty good. We might even want to do like another two elevators, another two staircases on the other side. Like flipped around the other way. That could be pretty cool. Down the middle here though, in the dead center, I want a nice big swimming pool. It's very, very important to have a swimming pool here. How many blocks away from the elevators do we want it? We want it a little bit away. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten blocks away is the swimming pool start. And then how many blocks uh away from the side do we want the swimming pool we probably want a, a decent amount to be able to walk down i'm going to say that many which is one two three four five six seven eight blocks 
That's a nice easy number to remember, isn't it? So then we can make it go down this way. Remember, we need to add one more snow block to this side as well. They'll be going down there, won't they? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then how many blocks wide do we want to go? It doesn't really matter too much. We haven't got anything else planned up here at the moment, so we might as well just use what space that we've got. That looks like a pretty good width to the length. So let's grab all of this. And to there, set air, and then take out this end one. And then we've got a few blocks. We've got this much, these, these black blocks here, of where we can drop the uh, swimming pool down and not get in, not impede in the way of these windows and stuff like that. That's why we wanted this sort of section up here to be able to be able to get a, uh, a swimming pool in. So we probably want to have a decent block for. I'm, I'm thinking something marbly looking. Uh, what does end stone look like? Not marbly enough. Um, that cobblestone could actually look really cool as the top one. Can I do the, what is the walls, I've, I've never learned the wall commands. And I don't know if I want to on video. No, I'm going to ignore it on video. Uh, imagine, imagine this going along here. See, that's got a really nice cool line in it. It doesn't look good from the top though, you see, because like they, they don't really go round corners too well or at all. But from the side, it's a really cool looking block. Um... On the top, on this layer here, we're also going to want to change that uh, to maybe like a, a very white block. Um, well, what's what we got under quartz? I mean, that one could work out really well. And then maybe even cover around the edge, cover the top up with some carpet. The water will start on this level. So then if we grab ourselves... That looks a little bit plain, but it is underwater, we've got to remember. If we went one, two, and then this block again. Like this. So it's like four blocks deep of water. And then the floor, we're probably going to want to have some sort of quartz again. Uh, maybe just a full block of quartz, because that way we get these sort of... Um, uh, these sort of squares, this sort of mosaic sort of style pattern. See what I mean with the with the lines going between them? I think that's probably a good way to then finish that off. Lighting we'll worry about in a minute. I'm going to do that all the way around, get the swimming pool in, and I shall be back. Okay, I thought I would uh, also fill in the uh, holes that we had around the side. I also doubled up all of the uh, snow around the outside as well. So we've got this double thick uh, layer there. Uh, just before filling it, I just had some time, so I thought, oh, why not? I'll just <laughs> do what I need to do. Ugh, I knew it was going to lag a little bit. So, uh, I fixed these as well. These were broken on both sides, but now these are both fixed. So, they're now perfectly in line. Nothing wrong with them. We've got the swimming pool in, which looks totally awesome, but is really missing some lighting in here. It always looks good when you have a little bit of lighting in swimming pools. Uh, even if it's just, like, towards the ends here. Like, if we had one... There, and there, and then that one, and that one. Just a little tiny bit of light. Now, at the moment, I don't like the glowstone texture. We will be changing it. I'm surprised I actually haven't changed it already, like, um, like before even starting the series. I just didn't really think of it, to be honest. Um, and then we can do one down the, in the middle if we wanted to. Which would be that one. That one, and that one, keep it in line, that one, <laughs> it'll do this fancy turn and everything, okay, uh, we can put a design in the floor if we wanted to as well, I think that could look pretty cool with maybe this black stained clay, you're not going to be able to see it that much in the water anyway, um, so I'm not going to make, I'm not going to like put too much effort into it, but uh, as long as we get in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, that we are in the middle. Ooh, in fact, this might be harder than you might think because of we're filling in uh, shadow as well, aren't we? Like that. Like that. And just trying to get some really cool random patterns. But obviously, you want it all symmetrical. And, oops, not that one, that one, and that one, something in the middle here, oops, yeah, I mean, why not, <laughs> I'm not going to argue, and two blocks, yeah, like that, something, something like that looks pretty good. And then I can, f I can fill it all, all in really quickly. Because each block I do takes out a load of shadow, which sort of messes everything up. 159.15. Replace air with 159.15. That should just take away those ones. There's 50 blocks there. 50 holes. You don't even, like, realize how much that is, do you? That, that looks cool. Just a nice little basic, simple design in there. And then we can fill with water. So we can go from here to there you, there is a fill command but it's just the just the same to do replace air with water and boom there is suddenly 3979 water blocks in there you can just see uh, the pattern in the bottom there and as you can see that sort of uh, glowstone on the side does just stands out enough to look cool I think that's good. Definitely big enough. I mean that's a huge that swimming pool might not look big compared to the boat but that's probably bigger than most houses that you've ever built in Minecraft, isn't it? You know, when you think about how many blocks wide that is, that's probably your, your average how Minecraft house size or large Minecraft house size. Okay, beautiful. Um, we're going to want to have some diving boards on here as well. Uh, I want multiple height ones if we can, like a really high one in the middle. This is the middle block right here. Uh, no, I want, s no, I want snow. I don't want the lines going down it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks is going to be plenty high enough. It's probably a little bit too high for the depth of the water. And then we're going to grab some walls to give it some strength like that. Then we're going to go with some slabs for the actual diving board itself. Uh, probably on the top half of the block would be better. That's too long. I'm going to take those out. Uh, that one and that one. Nope. That one and that one. I think that's pretty good. A ladder going up the side there would look nice. Um, we could even sort of hold it in a little bit more. With, oh, maybe iron bars, actually. I need to retexture these as well to look a little bit nicer. They look okay, iron bars, but we could definitely improve the look of them, couldn't we? We could definitely do something with them. And they go up to there. A ladder to go up the middle and I think that's pretty good and then the next one that we can do uh, I want to have uh, I think three heights so if we imagine if we were looking from this way you have podiums in a race would be first then second is the second highest and third is the lowest so I think if we have the second highest over here duke, second highest there yeah to about that height, I think, is good. We want that block, that and that one. These going up the side. Like that. And then these slabs going across the top. I think that's five blocks. Five block long diving board, I think, is a pretty good number. And then the third one is on this side, which is going to be even lower. So we want to have this one just to sort of there, like a little bubby one. For, your, for the starter divers, the people that are just building up their confidence, I would never go on a diving board. I don't like diving boards. Two, three, four, five. 
So there's three different types. I think that just adds that little cool part to the build. Now on the back here, uh, we don't have too much more room. I can put in like a little jacuzzi here, uh, but at the back here, we're going to have to think about the um, uh, a more bulky area. A lot of this is actually going to be white snow in a sort of curved shape, and it's going to have a uh, a big funnel on the top is what i want on this one there's like three main ones that are on the cruise ships you have this big uh funnel like a titan like you know the titanic have the uh the, the towers on top uh they some cruise ships have one of those some cruise ships have like basically like a big wing like an airplane wing on the back like a spoiler uh some of them have like a, another type of spoiler some don't have any but i really like the final look and it, we can definitely set it off with our orange and, and cyan uh combination so i think that's sort of going to be uh what we're doing next episode there it looks really cool though on the map it looks pretty sick as well uh, we are going to leave it there you can even see just the pattern on the map as well through the water that's so cool Huh. Uh, let's just take a look in the oops in the shader pack before we end off especially on the top here I want to see what it looks like and uh, if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then you can feel free to subscribe keep up to date with all of the other uh, videos that we have going on here on the channel and I shall see you guys in the next episode as long as it loads up there we go you can see you can really see the pattern through the water with the shader pack on it makes beautiful looking water how nice is that? Splush. Looks really nice under the water as well. Some sort of different, or more visible at least, particle effects underneath there. Very nice. Alright guys, see you in the next episode.